What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say? Oh, you're not gonna ask my age or like the year I was born. What is your age? Okay. How old are you, girl? Okay. Yeah, I'm 28 and I was born in 2022. No, I'm What's kidding. I was born song? in 1995. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? What's my favorite song? Yeah. I've heard people say oh boy, that's hard. Uh, I don't know. I like so all different kinds of songs. You. you like music. I like music. You like. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure your age is right. <laughs> all right. What do you have to say? Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. Before we get into the topic, what does me liking songs have to do with my age? It's just a joke. You know, you might. It's a silly joke. <laughs> oh, okay. Say so a song I'm that would. Joking with me. Got it. Yeah, Got it. it was okay. a joke. That's me trying okay. to be funny. What do you have to say? Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> James and Kay, I want to say something. But I want to say something. This is why I really like these debates, because in America, we're allowed to have different opinions. We're in America that our ancestors fought and died for. In other countries, you're not. You'll get killed for it or unalive for it. So I don't knock anyone who has a different opinion than me, right? I believe that this, honestly... Oh, you're back. Well, you're back, huh? What? You came back. I did. I came back. I came back with a pie I had baked to say I'm sorry. I honestly yeah, it was really you... rude of you to, to bounce after I gave you this whole explanation to your initial point. And then you're all of a sudden I was talking to a male. Who is this man? Who is this auteur? The... I needed I need to I needed to smoke because it was stressing me out. But like honestly, like I believe like this is what our government wants is us to have a divide between us. Together we are strong. That's why this is all an issue. Oh my gosh. You know what? It sounds like somebody just had a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This is what our government... Our government wants us to, to disagree. Okay, I mean, I guess in principle... A hundred percent. They want us to be able to disagree. They sure. want to separate the rich from the poor, the black from the white, the LGBT from the straight community. It's, it's all in their master plan. Together, we are strong. It all comes down to religion. Religion. That's control. actually a really good point. The latter. It all. It, everything does come down to religion, in my view. Everything is theological in nature. It's a conundrum. A theological conundrum. But. 100 percent. 100 percent. Okay, no, I agree I with the stoners, she, man. The stoner was right. She's she's smarter than whoever that last guy was. She I think. really is. <laughs> Who is this man? Who is this auteur? <laughs> she, she knows some things. I mean, but you still want to off kids, so that's not good. I mean. I believe that in some cases it is necessary. Like the one girl was saying before, it is a medical procedure. Now, for people who think women use birth, uh, abortion as birth control, maybe some people do do that. But honestly, a lot of women do not do that. Do you know how mentally traumatic it is for a woman to get an abortion? Like, honestly, I've never had one. I had my son actually three months early. He was born one pound, 6.5 ounces. And the hospital actually had the nerve to ask me if I wanted to keep him. And I said, absolutely, because I Good. grew such a bond with him growing in my body, right? Good. I grew a bond with him. Are you pro-life? What, what's going on imagine. here? It's confusing me a lot right now. This is why I have an IUD. This is exactly why Wait, I have an are you pro-life? You are saying that the mother is attached to the child. You're saying you would never get an abortion. What am I missing here? What am I missing here? I'm saying that I'm just not going to comment for other women. I'm not going to say why? what I think other women should do and what they shouldn't do. Why? Why are you guys so scared to speak out against what you know is wrong? I, Don't... No. Why? Are you afraid of getting hurt? I'd be scared. Just because speak. What, I think it's wrong. What? What? Okay, so... At all do I think it's wrong. Everyone has a choice. She thinks it's wrong. Wait, hold on there. Hold on there, Pablo. In Washington, you're allowed to off yourself after six months of a terminal illness. Is that right or wrong? <sighs> Who is this man? Who is this auteur? The uh, I, just I would say that that is wrong. We shouldn't allow people just to off themselves, but people might have different opinions. Everyone has a choice. I want to talk to Shoddy. What up, Shoddy? Why don't you let the lady speak, please? Okay, we've talked to you already, Jose. Shoddy. What up, Shoddy? Hey, no, look, seriously. What is the deal here? Do you think it's right or wrong? I don't know. If Charlie's silence here today is right or wrong. Do I think it's right or wrong? I think mm -hmm. it's wrong in some okay. instances. 
the cases, right. I think it's okay. Like if there's an atopic pregnancy or if if it's life threatening to the mother, that's when that's I think right. that's when I think it's okay when it's absolutely medically necessary to do it. That you just sound like pro life with medical exception. That's fine. So why don't you speak out against it? Right. We get that it's an unpopular opinion, and we get that you're probably going to get berated for it. You might lose some friends. Your family might look at you sideways. Your coworkers might look at you sideways. It's kind of a lot. First of all, they look at you funny because you're not the regular. They're just kind of like, okay. It doesn't matter. You're still standing up for what you yeah. believe no, is right. wrong. Right. That's what matters. But they'll never take our freedom! Yeah, and doxing. That's just going to happen. Are they going to do anything? Probably not. Well, but the point, though, is that it's, what's important is to be able to stand up against what you believe is wrong. You have to do that. You can't oh, just I'll always stand up for what I believe is wrong or right. I mean, but that doesn't mean my opinion's right. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that I'm I would right. hope it's and right I don't if know you everything. have it. I'm not one of these people that's going to come on here and tell you I know everything and try to give a bunch of scientific bullshit because I don't. Now, right, I mean, but you live in a society and you have both your private life and your public life. And we are 100%. just simply saying that if you have this this private view that abortion is wrong, then why aren't you having that publicly? Why don't you say if, if it truly is wrong, if you truly believe in your inner life that abortion is not good to do, you would never do it, why would you allow other women to do it? I don't know if Charlie's silence here today is right or wrong. Right? Except for the exceptions. Why does how does that make sense? I see where you're coming from. I see your point. I do. Honestly, you've you've really made me reconsider a lot of things. And you, you made me think, and that's supposed to be a good thing, isn't it? You really made me think about it. That's look, good. and I want to say this: that you are the guest. You are people like you are why we do this. We don't get people like you very often who actually take the time to like reconsider and rethink like their beliefs but people like you are the reason why james and i do these lives every single day even if it's one out of ten thousand guests even if we just get one guest like you it's worth it absolutely absolutely and honestly like as i was going to say um like i appreciate these debates um because everybody has an opinion right and that's the beautiful thing about it we're allowed to have differences of opinion and we're allowed to discuss it america that our ancestors fought and died for and I think that's really cool especially when it doesn't escalate into yelling or screaming but only it ends up in factual evidence you know what I mean so I appreciate that and I'm gonna get off here and let someone else have a chance to talk but I hope you all have a beautiful night yeah you Thank too you, for coming up. you know Kay who would have thought that the stoner would agree with <sighs> us the most who would have thought <laughs> does that we say can. something about our views I think uh, that was good. That was successful. I'm glad that we got somebody, at least somebody or a few people to reconsider or at least reflect on their own position. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. He's brave and I'm what, nothing?